Hey girlies, what's going on? So we are gonna be doing, oh my God, I look crazy, my hair is insane. I showered this morning and I let it air dry and this is what we're working with. Um, so, T, we're gonna be doing a little vlog this weekend because I am driving right now to go to Philadelphia, to Philadelphia, um, to go to one of my college friends' wedding. So I figure, I was like, oh my God, I should vlog the weekend and I used to do, when I drove to college all the time, I would do these like little car vlogs and I just was like, I have to drive for six hours. So I might as well, I might as well. So I left out around nine ish. Um, it says we're going to get there around three 30. I'm going down to center city. So I have to drive in the city of Philly. So that should be absolutely terrifying. Um, but I was supposed to drive my own car down and Turns out that my car needs a new fucking radiator. Um, so I can't drive it long distances. So I'm driving my dad's truck and a little nervous, a little scared because it's, this is a brand new truck. It's a GMC Sierra. I think it's 2023. I have no idea. Couldn't even tell you, but it's like self-driving and it's right now I got the little massage seat on. It's like kneading my back. Like it feels so fucking good. Um, but I was, it's a lot of back roads. So, um, yeah, I just saw somebody pulled over and it was a man and he was like peeing on the side of the road, which like all for that, you know, if you got to go, you got to go. I mean, there are like two gas stations coming up right here. Um, but he was like peeing behind his car. Like you would think he would go like to the right of the car so nobody would see you, but no, like full, full just pissing on the side of the road. So we're off to a really great start. I had to stop at Dollar General and get some car wipes because my dad's car was like really dusty and I cannot relax ever. So I had to like wipe down his car before I could drive. Oh my God. We lost you. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Come on guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Dad. Sorry, the, the fucking phone just fell. Hello? That, <laughs> that clip of Melania Trump. Anyway, um, so a trailer just left. So we're trying to drive faster than what we were doing before. So yeah, I'll check in. Like I said, we have a 325 arrival time. I'm sure I'll have to stop. Um, but, you know, just, just enjoy the ride with me. I'm going to be, right now we're on a nice little like Nicki Minaj Cardi B mix. So I'm going to listen to music and then I have... A book, a book on tape because I'm 60 years old. Um, I downloaded Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, so I really want to watch that. Watch that. I want to listen to that too. So it should be an interesting drive. All right. So I just had my first stop. I have three hours and 51 minutes left. I am officially in the state of Pennsylvania. So the speed limit just turned to 70. So that's amazing. Of course I had to stop at a sheets. Um, I didn't have to get gas. I just had to pee really bad because I drank my entire, I like chugged my venti Starbucks brown sugar shaken espresso with cold foam. It was so fucking good. Like one of the best I've had in a really long time. Um, so yeah, I went to the gas station. I pissed. It smelled like shit in there. Um, but yeah, I'm making good time. I didn't buy any snacks in there because I have some snacks in here. I'm going to do a car tour in one second and show you guys what I got. Um, but yeah, I've been doing the, so this truck has like adaptive cruise control where you're like driving and it, you know, you said obviously a cruise control, but then it'll like adjust its speed to like the cars around you. Cause normally with cruise control, you know, you have to brake and slow down, speed up, whatever. But this one like does it for you. And I've been doing the self driving. It's like low key kind of fun, but also really scary. Like you have to keep your eyes on obviously on the road at all times, but it's literally the car is driving itself. Um, so yeah, that's like actually super scary. So it says I'm supposed to get there around like 3.30 ish. So we're making great time. I just have to get back on the highway. But of course, like I waited so long. Like I was literally about to piss my pants. I don't know if you guys do this too, but like every exit, I was like, oh yeah, I'll get off on this, this exit. I'll go pee here. And then for some reason, I'm like, oh no, I'll just wait till the next one, girl. And then you almost piss your pants because you have a fucking piss kink now. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I nothing crazy has happened. Everyone's but also I parked this truck like a boss. Like, like I get shit done. Okay, I know I said it was um, a Sierra, but it's actually a Denali. But here it is. Here is the truck in all of her glory. 
Um, I have my little snacks over here. So I have Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I have a bunch of crunch. This is so good. And then these Dots pretzels are my enemy. They're my favorite thing. I'll probably grab like a, um, what's it called? A Red Bull or something when I stop again. Because I definitely won't. I'll have enough gas, but I'm, I'll definitely stop and get gas beforehand. But yeah, this little cowboy leather situation. Literally so cute. The That's the little Prindle. It's like buttons. And then there's a little start, start and stop. But it's cute. I mean, like describing a truck as cute. Okay, so we're going to get on the road. And hopefully we just have one more stop. And then we will get to the hotel. I'm a little nervous about um, parking and stuff there. But... I'll figure it out at my next stop. I'll like Google where to park and shit. I just don't want to drive this truck in the city, but we'll be good. Also, wait, I have, so I have a radar detector. That's what that thing is up there. But I have passed three Pennsylvania cops and the radar detector hasn't gone off. So I don't like, and I would be passing like New York state troopers and sheriffs and stuff. And it would be going off even if they weren't shooting radar. Like even if the car was driving on the other side of the highway. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. I can't with Pennsylvania it's there was wine and sheets like i almost bought wine i was like mm, girl let's chill y'all checking in um i have an hour and a half left i did one stop about 20 minutes ago i got gas um and i got a little watermelon red bull i was snacking on my pretzels earlier i think when i get to the hotel i should be there about a little before four that my friends that are also staying there we might go get dinner and drinks and shit so i didn't want to eat anything but yeah the drive is going fine um i talked to my mom for like an hour she had jury duty so she was telling me all about it the trial's over don't worry but she was telling me all about it so that was a good chunk of time and i just been listening to music i downloaded it like i said an audiobook but i might i'll probably listen to that on my way home like i'm just my playlist right now is just too good like i can't stop but the sun has come out, it stopped raining, it's a decent drive. The car has been driving itself, it's not right now, just because of a lot of traffic. I'm about to hit probably a little bit more. Um, it keeps adding a little bit more time, like a minute. So hopefully I don't hit any traffic, but I think I'm gonna valet my car, bougie, but I just like don't wanna have to deal with parking in Philly. Like we'll see, I'll do, I'll do a wrap around, I'll loop around and see, but um, yeah, I looked on the website and it was like 50 bucks a night for valet. So like, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what I can figure out. But this truck, I don't know. We'll see. And I'd rather have it somewhere safe and secure, you know. So yeah, I'll probably get to the hotel, change, freshen up, go out to dinner and get a good night's rest before the wedding tomorrow. I'm so excited. It's at two o'clock and then the reception is at five. I am planning on getting obliterated. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be really fun. I mean, I know it will be. It's just like crazy. Oh, the car is breaking on its own. It's just crazy to me. Like my friends are getting married and then they're going to, my other friend from college, she's getting married in June and I'm a bridesmaid in her wedding, which is horrendous, but that's okay. Um, but it's just like, we're all growing up and I'm staying the same, I guess, which is fine, you know, but it's just funny. Um, like, it, ugh, I can never regulate my own fucking temperature. I'm either too hot, I'm too cold. It's so annoying. All right, check in. I'll show you guys the room. We'll do a little room tour, too. She said, my friend is there now. She was like, the hotel is actually nicer than I thought it was going to be. And I was like, what did we think? Like, we paid a decent amount of money for it. So, I hope it's fucking nice. But, yeah, let's see. Let's see, what's, let's see what we got going on. Sitting in a shit ton of traffic. So close, yet so far. I forget that other places literally have traffic because I don't. Okay, guys, I made it to my hotel room. The traffic was like disgusting, like actually disgusting. It took me an extra like hour and a half. I almost got a hit by a cop car and like three SEPTA buses, but we're here. I just did a little quick change. I saw my friends. We're gonna go out and grab some dinner and some drinks. This hotel room is literally so cute. Let me show you. Okay, all my shit's in here, but there's a robe. Are you joking? And then here's the bathroom. Wait, hello. Here's the bathroom. Cute little shower. It's like really big in here too. Um, all my shit, sorry. Nice king size fucking bed, as I should. Little desk for my makeup. And I'll show you guys the view. Here, it's a convention center. And 
You can't really see much else. But literally, I should fucking get an award for driving around Philly like I did. Like, that was insane. Like, actually, in that big-ass fucking truck. And then I had to park it in, like, this overnight, like, parking place. And I, he was like, can you back it in? I said, for sure. I'll back that motherfucker right in there. So, that's us. Oh, I'm a big film. Yeah, we're gonna dinner. I'm starving. And I had to pee so bad when I was driving. I literally peed in the hotel lobby. I thought I was gonna piss my fucking pants. Yeah, cute little fit. Going to dinner. I'm starving. Okay, I've been trying for like five minutes to find a good camera angle and nothing is gonna work. But I'm in my <laughs> my Jimmy t-shirt. I'm taking off my makeup. We went we went to dinner, guys. I had the best fucking chicken sandwich that I've ever had in my entire life. It was so good. And I had a bunch of little vodka waters. I had some margaritas. We sat at the hotel bar. I was just chit-chatting with my friends. And it's just been a really nice, like, wholesome night. Um, what fucking time is it? It's like almost 12.30 in the morning. So I'm just doing my little skincare. I... I'm gonna shower in the morning. I look so scary. I'm gonna shower in the morning. Um and like just get like fully glam, fully ready. I have to get a card in the morning, so I'm probably gonna walk to CVS when I wake up and get breakfast. Well, get a card, get some cash out for a wedding gift, and get some breakfast because the ceremony is at two, but um the ceremony is at two, but the reception is at five, so we probably won't eat till like six. I'm a little tipsy right now, but nothing, nothing too crazy. I meant to wash my face. I forgot. If you guys don't have these little makeup erasers, you should definitely get them. Um, but yeah, we had such a good time. I, I um, it was so nice to like catch up with my friends and shit, and just like see them, and just like chat about life, and. I haven't seen them in like literally four years. So that's crazy. Um, I set my fucking thermostat to 67 degrees. So it's not that cold in here. But I am so excited to get into this fucking bed. And just like chill. And also they gave us for the wedding little like goodie bags. We got a little water. We got some potato chips. Some Advil. Some liquid IV. It's a sleigh. Yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow. I think tomorrow the wedding is going to be super, super fun. Oh, we have some coffee in here. Okay, creamers that like are just left out kind of scare me because why are these refrigerated? You know what I mean? And why are these waters, these Fiji waters, $8? Oh, that chicken sandwich was so fucking good. I'm going to cry. Good morning, everyone. So it's about 11.45 right now, which was not in the cards for me. I was supposed to get ready at 10 because um, the bus comes at, the shuttle comes at 12.45. So I have an hour to get ready. I was going to wash my hair, but I just don't have time now, which is totally fine. So I'm going to straighten my hair, get ready. We left at like 9.30 to go get breakfast, but we went to a couple different places. Like we went to Reading Terminal Market and everywhere was just super packed. So we ended up going to like this little diner, which is so good. I'm so full, but we just needed some sustenance. For the long day ahead so we did that we walked to cvs to get a wedding card of course all of the wedding cards were sold out so my friend's boyfriend went to go try to find us one at a different cvs while we get ready i'm watching shrek and i just made a cup of coffee in there i don't even want to hear about how disgusting that coffee maker is like i know hotel coffee makers are gross and um yeah i'm gonna have some coffee perk up a little bit and start getting ready there is a hotel like a hotel robe but i was just thinking like how often do you think that, that robe gets washed probably never am i gonna put it on right now maybe but yeah i'm gonna get ready real quick and i'll show you guys the after because this is just crazy and this pimple is pissing me the fuck off but we'll fix it we'll get it right wait but can we take a moment for this fucking robe guys i have never felt more bougie like i'm drinking my coffee i'm in my hotel robe like it's like so fuzzy on the outside too okay i need to get ready but like <laughs> okay definitely cutting it super super close but i am ready this is my makeup i'll show you guys the full fit um went a little darker than i originally intended but i literally have like a minute to fucking spare these necklaces are for my mom just my normal jewelry and rings and everything and my little tennis bracelet that i found on the ground of the mall but let me show you guys 
the full fit. I'm literally fucking sweating. Okay, so the lighting isn't great, but this is just like a Calvin Klein little jumpsuit. And then these are Steve Madden heels. This is also for my mom. It's like a little clutch. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Super cute, fun wedding vibes. But yeah, it's not as warm out as I thought it was going to be. So I might be a little chilly, but I think we pulled it together. So off we go to the wedding. I am it's one in the morning and I want to go the fuck home in a weird ass bar they're playing fucking jazz music I had a great ass time at the wedding but I want to go the fuck home I'm hammered I want to go home what is all this shit who is that who is she but I'm saying I was lost in holy shit <laughs> love you guys guys I'm back in my hotel room it's one in the fucking morning we went to this little dive the wedding was so nice let's talk about it the wedding was so cute we, there was a ceremony in the church it was actually sweet and they had like cocktail hour and the food was amazing and they had a live band and normally i'm like mm, about live bands but it was actually like a really good band i was dancing the fucking night away my feet are killing me actually killing me um my makeup like slayed though I'm, like still pristine except this fucking pinball but it like looked like a little beauty mark we went to a bar after the wedding and we were supposed to meet like half a bridal party and like the groomsmen there and then they just never fucking showed up so we had one drink and we fucking left but it was so fun we had such a good time here's my tea though <laughs> So, of course, the fucking Philadelphia Marathon is tomorrow. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get out of here. I'm staying in, like, Center City. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to leave. I'm going to wake up in the morning and try to figure it out. But, like, this is absolutely fucking crazy. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave tomorrow. I have the, the, the Philly Marathon is tomorrow. So, like, all the streets are going to be closed off. And then there's a fucking home Bills game at 4.25 p.m. Right now I'm trying to go home. So I literally have no idea. I parked my truck somewhere. Don't know if it's still there. Don't know if it's gotten broken into. Don't know if it's been vandalized. No idea. So we're going to try to do that. My feet hurt, but I slayed. This outfit was so comfy. Shout out to my mom for the Calvin Klein jumpsuit. Holy fuck, get this off of me. My feet are so swollen. Oh my God. My toes hurt, but I left my shoes on the whole time. If you take your shoes off, you are a grimy girl. Oh my God, this bathroom situation is, oops, lay, is a fucking mess. But honestly, like, I ate. Like, the makeup, like, she ate this. But yeah, it was so much fun. It was so sweet. It was so cute. It was, like, awesome seeing, like, literally one of my like college, like absolute best friends get married. Like it was so cute. This hotel bed is not the best. The duvet is like in between two sheets and it's like brown. So we don't love that, but I'm going to drink some water. They gave us a cute little like goodie bag when we checked in. It has chips and like tasty cakes and water bottles and liquid IVs. So I'm definitely going to eat some of these chips. Like I said, the food was delicious for cocktail hour. They had like soup, they had a whole like sushi bar and they had this like general, like spicy chicken and spicy shrimp that I ate. And then they had like sushi rolls. So I ate that and I had like her signature drink was like an Aperol spritz and his was a Manhattan, but I don't drink that. So I had a bunch of Aperol spritzes and then I was drinking vodka and water. So that's how we feel. Um, I cannot wait to take my makeup off and get into bed. I'll probably shower in the morning before I leave. Honestly, depending on what time I wake up, we're going to have to see how the traffic is. I'm just like so nervous about the traffic because of course it's the fucking marathon weekend. Um, but yeah, then I had steak for dinner and mashed potatoes. Literally so good. Again, drinking all night. I didn't have any of the dessert. They had like breakfast for dessert. They had like coffee and like little, <laughs> ooh, pastries and shit but I was like mm, I'm good on that 
I was like so full. I just need to drink some water and some fucking, I have like heartburn for some reason because I'm old. And you know you're old when you have like a fucking thing of pills in your purse. Like, let me show you. Like I literally have a pill container with all of my fucking pills. That's so embarrassing. But I wanted to leave the bar like three, like actually two, like an hour ago, but nobody else. Well, that's not true because my friend wanted to leave too. She was like, why the fuck are we here? I was like, we're waiting for the bridal party to come and like, we're all gonna hang out, but the groomsmen and the bride weren't coming. The groomsmen, the groom. The bride weren't coming, so it's like, mm, why are we here? So it was just kind of a bust, but I had a six dollar drink. But yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off, go the fuck to sleep, and then we'll see what tomorrow brings for driving home because I'm a little nervous. But I gotta eat this like a little bit, like she like eight. Just a little bit. Okay. Love you guys. Good night. Okay, I'm taking out my makeup but and my Jimmy shirt. But I had like a stream of consciousness when I was fucking like... I'm sitting on the toilet. I had like, I don't know, when I was... Because like I said, this is my first wedding I've ever been to. So I was like thinking, I was like, oh, like this would be actually like the worst thing in the world for me. Like I wouldn't want to get married. Like that's so uncomfortable. Like it just seems like so much planning and so many aspects that like go into it and there's just so many like moving parts and whatever but then i'm like i don't know it'd be so fun to have like a fun party like with all my friends and my family and just like celebrating like me and the fact that i eventually like found love like i feel like i'd have to fucking live stream that at some point because y'all are sick and tired of me like complaining about my dating life but i was like just like even during like the best man speech and the maid of honor speech and the father's daughter dance i was like oh, this is so cute but i feel like i will never have that you know and i part of that is my own fault because like i don't pick the right people in my life but i'm like i just can't like picture like my i don't know i can't picture my life like that you know where it's like everything's so like perfect and whatnot I don't know I can't imagine sitting there and just feeling that way about somebody and like loving them like that you know like they exchanged vows and they were crying and obviously they, they really love each other and it was just so beautiful to see and I'm just like damn like am I ever gonna have that shit I'm looking like this bitch but um it was just it was awesome like the ceremony the reception everything about it was just like so full of love and like happiness and even like afterwards just like dancing around and like drinking and having a good time like they were just like living their best life and i was like i would love that like me and my future husband if i ever had god forbid i ever have one like we would slay at that because that's my favorite thing like i love being not i, I don't love being the center of attention but like i love like going out and like I don't know just like hanging out and drinking with each other and like being able to have a good time and just like form those bonds with like other family members and shit like that which i think is super super important but it was just kind of like eye-opening to me because i was like damn is that ever gonna happen for me i don't know and it didn't make me emotional because i don't know like this is one of my like really close friends like he deserves the world and like, I'm so glad that he found his person, for sure. And my other friends, like, they're getting married. And everyone at the wedding kind of, like, had a date. And I was like, damn, like, am I just not, like, not that I'm not worthy of that type of love. But it's, like, it is a little jarring in those kind of moments where it's, like, everybody else has somebody. And they can relate to this and just be in the moment with our significant other and go out on the dance floor and dance with them and like you know switch meals if they don't like each other's meals and take pictures and whatever and I'm just like hmm it's a it's a really big reminder of how single I am but at the same time like I just I just can't imagine like entertaining anybody that's not up to my standards you know that's my thing
but it's just kind of eye-opening and it's like oh i kind of wish i did have somebody to like share these moments with because we would kill it like what like i would absolutely kill it but that's my thoughts me wiping my face off before i go the fuck to sleep and drive into the philly marathon tomorrow i'm hurting i'm just kidding i'm not hurting i'm just fucking tired it's 10 10 in the morning i got up at like nine o'clock and just could not go back to sleep they did have a brunch this morning but i was not about to do all that so i'm up i just drove about an hour i'm about to stop in this service service station service plaza and get some duncan i'm so hungry and i need caffeine um and i'll probably pump a little bit of gas and yeah be on my merry way it says i'm gonna get there at like 301 get to my parents house because i have to drop my dad it's, my dad it's struck back um but yeah the wedding was so fun last night i'm sure i told you guys i cannot watch those clips back because i don't even know what i was saying and i can't do that right now but yeah it was so fun i'm just really tired and my cyst hurts really bad if you guys didn't know i have a cyst and it like is killing me my cyst is killing me so yeah i'm gonna drive home probably chill at my parents for a little bit and then get jimmy around like 7 30 ish because that's the time i can pick him up the only funny thing is there is a home bills game today so I may hit Bill's traffic, but the game's at 4.30. So everyone should probably be there around like 3.30. So it'll probably be wrapping up when I'm driving over there. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some Dunkin'. I'm not a Dunkin' girly, but let's go. Let's go see what they got in there. So I'm literally so embarrassed. I went into the Allentown Service Plaza, got my Dunkin', and I walked out on the wrong side. Like I parked so far away. And I, there's two exits, like a northbound and a southbound. I fully went out the wrong way and then walked all the way down realized that this was not that those were not my trucks my trucks there were like two gmc's down there i was like yeah one of the cats be mine but i think they're parked the wrong way girl they're parked the wrong way because that wasn't your truck so then i had to walk through the service plaza again and then walk all the way back out but it's fine i got an everything bagel toasted with butter i said i'm not a duncan girly so i never really know what to get i got that i got a caramel iced coffee with cream and sugar i am just like slurping up granulated sugar chunks mm. really sweet um but it's fine i just needed something and i got an apple fritter so we're gonna head back out on the road i can't believe i just did that i walked so far i'm so embarrassing okay i'm gonna go eat my bagel and drive and either listen to music or listen to my book We'll have to see what the vibes are okay this is like not funny but this is where i accidentally drove on the wrong side of the road because you have to turn up here and you have to turn all the way there and i turned over here and this is a one-way and it goes down this ramp to like over there and it was so scary but it was dark out but like you can kind of see where you would be pulling up that's where you're supposed to enter and i entered over there too funny long day tough day at daycare did you miss me bob i think you did with a baby oh my god Oh, he's so mad at me. Okay, so I'm actually never leaving him again. Um, but I'm back home now. I have totally forgot to finish this off. But I'm home. The rest of the drive was very uneventful. I got home at like 3.30. Watched the Bills game with my mom. And picked up Psycho. And we had Chipotle. And now I'm about to take a shower and go the fuck to sleep. I already unpacked everything. That is my toxic trait. Is I'm a person who unpacks stuff immediately when they get home. I look like actually crazy. I'm so fucking tired. I tried to nap during the Bills game and I just couldn't. But yeah, we're gonna just chill for a bit, take a shower, and go to sleep. But thanks for hanging out with me for the weekend. I will not be doing that again <laughs> anytime soon. Social battery is absolutely drained. I I'm gonna be in one of my friends that was there. I'm gonna be in her wedding in June. And, like, there is so much that goes into a wedding. I'm just, like, I, I, uh, that's just going to be crazy. I'm a bridesmaid, like, literally fucking kill me. But yeah, super fun weekend. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs. If you do, let me know. I, like, randomly pop off and do them. But if you guys like them, I'll do them more. If he wants. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.